what Joker is doing in our league, not even athletic. He, he jumps probably this high, right? He, like what he's doing in our league is just, he, he's, rip, he's ripping the, he's ripping the, <laughs> the records apart. I think, P, they showed a stat where he's had a triple-double on every team in the league. Damn. For <laughs> real? That's cold. That's cold. Bro, he, bro, right now, Joker's more dominant than Will Chamberlain right now. Lord. Damn. Obviously, that was an engagement in hyperbole by the one and only Kevin Garnett. Um, but it, give him credit where credit is due. He was very, very consistent. That was Kevin Garnett on his Ticket and the Truth podcast. And yes, you just heard him say that Nikola Jokic is more dominant than Wilt Chamberlain. Kevin Garnett knows better. But what he's doing is paying homage to today's generation of players because as he articulated on this very show over the Thanksgiving holidays, when he appeared on the Stephen A. Smith show, the OGs got to know how to step aside and make room for cats on the come up that are taking it to another level. And when you look at Nikola Jokic, there is no denying his greatness right there. He's got an NBA title. He's got an NBA Finals MVP, just as many as Will Chamberlain. He's got two NBA MVPs. He's been an all-NBA player five times. He's been an all-star six times, okay? We get all of that. But did you see the numbers on the left with Will Chamberlain? Two NBA titles, four NBA MVPs, 10-time All-Star, 13 All-NBA, rather, 10, 13 All-Star, 13-time uh, All-Star, seven scoring titles, 11 rebounding titles, even one assist titles. Kevin Garnett, Kevin Garnett himself. Let me just throw y'all some numbers just in case we understand, we don't understand how great Wilt Chamberlain was. In Wilt Chamberlain's first Six years, I'm sorry, seven years in the NBA. He averaged 37.6, 38.4, 50.4, 44.8, 36 36.9, 34.7, and 38.9 points per game in the first 38 or games he played with the San Francisco Warriors before departing for Philadelphia Penovation that same 1964-1965 season. In the year 1961-62, Wilt Chamberlain averaged 50 and 25.7 rebounds. For his career, he's a 22.9 rebounds per game player. He's a career 54% shooter. One three-point shooting back then, and the parity that exists now certainly did not exist then. But Wilt Chamberlain, they had to change rules for this man because he was so big, so dominant, that it was unfair to the competition. You got to think about things like that when you're listening to a Kevin Garnett. It's not to take anything away from what he's saying. It's not to take anything away from what Jokic is doing. But when we talk about dominance, dominance, we're not talking about effective play, efficient play, stats, etc. We're talking about a Goliath that was so mammoth, so huge, so colossal, that when you had to defend against them, the first thing you did was pray. That's what we're talking about here. KG, Jokic is many things, and he is phenomenal and fabulous, but he ain't no Will Chamberlain. He ain't no Will Chamberlain. 